Welcome home, creators and voice actors. Today we're talking about the AT2020 XLR version. This is the limited edition Chrome version, or Vision Edition, which is essentially the same as the standard XLR, only it's got nice shiny plating that I can use as a mirror. All of the audio in this video is completely unprocessed, except for that one part where I do borrow Podcastage's OBS filters, which I will leave in the description down below. So who is the AT2020 XLR for? I would say mostly singers and voice actors of all experience levels. And those who do not have much of a noise problem at home, no dogs, no babies crying, no planes passing by, no trains passing by, etc, etc. If you have a lot of background noise in your room, this is not the microphone for you. It is very sensitive. I also wouldn't recommend it for podcasts because there are so many other better microphones for podcast use and were made for podcasts. And for the AT2020, it's kind of an afterthought. Or I don't think podcasts were a thing when this was designed. Now let me quickly compare the AT2020 USB, USB Plus, and XLR versions. I bought the AT2020 USB Plus in 2012 as a beginner voice actor, and I got work with it. I thought for that stage in my career, the microphone sounded great. But with the AT2020 USB, I always wished there was a way to listen back to your audio live because there was always this delay, 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 delay. In 2015, I upgraded from the USB version to the USB Plus version just for that live monitoring feature. With the AT2020 USB Plus, I finally had an accurate representation of what I sounded live. In 2016, I finally mustered the courage to go from USB to XLR. And it wasn't until 2020 that I bought the AT2020 XLR version as the B mic to my Neumann U87. And I was not disappointed. It essentially has the same signature sound as the USB versions, only you have way more control, like controlling the gain right here. And yeah, that is awesome. Now, would I consider the AT2020 XLR version a professional microphone? Definitely professional, but world class? I wouldn't be too sure. It's professional because one, it gets the job done, and two, it is built to last. I know some dubbing studios that use the AT2020 as their daily driver to record telenovelas and sometimes animation all day, and those microphones have been there for at least a decade. Also, David H. Lawrence the 17th, a veteran union actor and coach, uses the AT2020 USB Plus, not XLR, USB Plus version as his daily driver. Not only does he use it, but he recommends it to his students. So if someone like that uses the USB version as his daily driver, Yes, his Neumann is now in his closet. Don't worry, Neumann. I'm not gonna leave you. Let's do a quick plosive test. You might want to lower your volume a little bit. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Now with mic technique. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. I am currently speaking into the AT2020 XLR without Podcastage's filters. I am now recording with the AT2020 XLR with Podcastage's OBS filters on. If you're liking the AT2020 so far and you'd also like to support this channel, I'll leave an Amazon affiliate link in the description down below. And if you get it from there, I will be getting a small commission from that at no additional cost to you. Let's get back to the review. One of the key characteristics of the AT2020 is that it is a condenser microphone, which generally means it is much more sensitive to sound, like if I blink my eyes here, and it captures most of the frequencies of sound that are desired in professional audio. Here's how sensitive the AT2020, a condenser mic, is versus the Shure SM7B, which is a dynamic mic in contrast. I'm speaking a span away from the AT2020. I'm about a meter away from the AT2020. I'm about a meter away from the AT2020. I'm a span away from the SM7B. I'm about a meter away from the SM7B. I'm about a meter away from the SM7B. This is my AT2020 with the AC turned off. This is the AT2020 with my AC turned on at the lowest fan setting. This is how I'd use the AT2020 as a podcaster. 
You are now listening to my podcast. This is how I'd use the AT2020 for singing. This is how I'd use the AT2020 for voice acting. Our friends hoped in vision, our essence was body, transforming the infinite darkness into light, unmasked in heaven and earth, one machine equal to the gods! So is the Audio-Technica AT2020 XLR still worth it in 2022? Absolutely. The Shure SM58, the legendary stage microphone, was originally released in 1966, and we still use it today. My wife uses the SM58 for church and her personal recordings. So unlike smartphones, where they launch a model once every six months, microphone models tend to remain consistent through the decades, and they are built to last a lifetime if we take care of them. Following these principles, the AT2020 is a perfectly usable professional microphone. Just make sure you have good soundproofing because this does not do well in noisy environments. And that's it for this review. If you like this video, please hit that like button down below and hit that subscribe button. Just, just hit, don't smash it. Pinch that subscribe button and that would really be helpful for this channel. Also, please let me know if you want to have more software reviews, if you want to have more gear reviews, and the type of content you're really looking forward to with this channel. Stay safe and take care.